Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Dog Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're about to start playing a new game. Uh, very recently released to Steam Early Access. It's called RPG Tycoon, as you can see. Um, and as you can see down the bottom right hand corner, it is Alpha Stage. So it's literally just come out. Um, not played any of it. Uh, about to give it a go. So, uh, welcome to RPG Tycoon. In RPG Tycoon, you must manage the evolution of your capital. And the settlements that surround it in an attempt to become the greatest kingdom in the land. To do this you will need heroes. Heroes will help your entire kingdom grow by working for you and achieving quests that will earn you followers. Before you can hire a hero before you can hire a hero, however, you will need to purchase a quarters for them to reside in. Purchase a quarters from the buildings menu. Oh, it moved. Small quarters. Bye. Yes. Huzzah! You have purchased your first building for your capital. There are plenty of buildings that you can research and purchase, and purchase as the game progresses, but you'll need gold in the treasury to make it as successful as the most successful kingdom in the land. You can earn money by hiring heroes to work for you and making them complete quests. At the moment you can only at the moment you can only house one hero in the capital. But at this point, in time, one hero will be enough to start earning you some money. Spread the word of how amazing your kingdom is to nearby towns. Hire a hero by accessing the hero menu. Adventurers! Would you look at that? It appears that you've spread word of sheer awesomeness of your kingdom and gotten yourself a few followers. There you go, followers. Now that people are following you and your kingdom closely, you'll start getting some visitors. These are adventurers, heroes from other kingdoms, civilians that fancy themselves some exploration, or simple tourists that your kingdom for from your kingdom that you want to see your capital. Let's start that again. Or simple tourists from from your kingdom that want to see your capital has on offer for them. Adventurers will visit your kingdom over the course of the game, so they invest in what you've got to offer for them. So make sure you invest in buildings that will attract them, such as stores. If adventurers are happy with what you have to offer, they will likely spread the word of how awesome you are. So be sure to keep an eye on what they want from you. That's right, this game is a management sim as well. Aren't you so lucky? Mm -hmm. Heroes. Hire a hero. Philip the Brave is a level 1 knight. Scott the Honest. You know, that, that feels like I probably should. But I can't afford him. Can I afford him? How much gold? I've got gold. I can afford him. I'm not looking at the others. His name's Scott. We've got him. Here he is. Well done. You've managed to convince a hero to spend their working. Spend their time working for the cause of your kingdom somehow. Maybe it's that paycheck you just gave them. Or maybe they're just grateful to have a place to call home. Or somewhere to fill their stomach with a big warm meal after a long, wondrous journey. Either way, you'll be paying them, playing them. Up play they'll either way you'll be playing them upkeep. You'll be paying them upkeep once a month. So you better make sure they pull their weight around here by sending them on some quests from the quest menu. New quest uh, supplies. Scott the honest, it's a tough place out there in the land, and often settlements in your kingdom will run out of supplies. We have more than enough supplies in the capital, so why not visit a settlement with a warming gift? Sure they'll probably need it. Raymond Reach. Off you go. Um, sign action points. Yeah, that, that'll do. We'll just go as it is. Why not? So off he goes. Look at him. He's got the honest. He's off. He's happy. And he's off. Can we... How should we start the journey? Let's rush on the way there. build a small tavern 600 gold or a potion store 600 gold I don't think I can afford either of those turn the music down I couldn't find the option before we started so off he goes look at him go bye Scott the Honest conquest stage how should we conquest well I thought we were going to take or should we go in to take some supplies, not conquest anything? And 
interesting. Return stage. Yeah, let's do them all. Why not? So he's down there. That tree wasn't there a minute ago, was it? We gained 17 renown. We got 18.5 points. And Scott the Honest has gone up. He's lost one health point. Right, but he has gone up. Scott the Honest says we could probably do it better. Scott the Honest says I think Raymond Dreach are more important things we could help with. Do you really? Congratulations, you've earned enough renown that you can now send out your hero to explore the land on their own. You can now send, spend your renown in the quest menu to send your heroes out to explore the land. From this menu you are able to select the purpose of each exploration mission, such as discovering new types of mission that could be available to you, or unlock new settlements for your hero to visit. The world is quite literally your oyster, unless you're, unless you're not into seafood, in which case you should probably stay away from the beach. There's a lot of water there. Thanks very much. So is he walking back or is he back? Oh, there he is. Here he comes, look. Dee -dum, dee -dum, dee -dum. Coming back, he's waddling back. Come on, Scott the Honest. Ten followers we've got. And he's in his house. Um, I'm guessing we send him straight out on another one. Send him out on the Raiders quest. Raiders are a nuisance being all raiding and such. You should go to the settlement to see if there are any nearby that you can teach a lesson to. Go on then. Um, yeah, let's send him back to Raymond Reach. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do on this one. Well, we can take off things. Going with some bravado. Go on, son. So off he goes. Oh, who's this little person? Who's this? Um, going to do some recon on the way. Yes, we want conflict. Go on, son. So this is Scott Dog Land. It is indeed. He doesn't look overly impressed. Oh, two visitors. They're not staying very long. Off they go. Not quite sure what that last bit does. Yep, this is still Scott Dog Land. He's not overly impressed either. I guess because there's one tree and a half in it. That would that would be the reason. Uh, so we gained some renown, only three. Um, he did lose some health. Didn't get the most out of this mission. Raymond Reach had more important things to worry about, but that went well. Can I buy another? I'm doing it. I'm buying a tavern. Capital now has a tavern, which is a great place for your heroes to relax and blow off steam after a long journey. The tavern will recover the hero's fatigue. If you don't let your hero recover their fatigue, they'll become less effective in quests and take longer to return to the kingdom. Heroes that are fatigued return with much less gold and very little experience from each quest. So it's a good idea to make sure that they visit the tavern regularly between quests. The tavern is also a good place to pick up contracts. Contracts are fixed price quests that offer big rewards for your heroes, but as they're often requested by civilians, they have a very little return of gold to the kingdom. At the moment, you'll only be able to take up contracts at the request of the kingdom. Maybe a dedicated contract board could change that. Is he going in there? Oh, I thought he was going in the tavern, is he? No. I'm going to build a dirt road between the two, I think. Oh, apparently only one square at a time I'm going to build a dirt road. Get out of my house! God damn it! So 
well, this is quite annoying that you have to build apparently one dirt road at a time. So he's in the house. He's got some experience. And I hope we'll go to the tavern in a second. Doesn't look like he's going to. Doesn't look like he's overly interested. Oh, there we go. We can send him to it. Oh, he's not even walking along the path. That's quite annoying. Okay, so let's have a look at quests. Uh, beasts, we're gonna go. Oh, he's, he's relaxing. Listen, I can't do anything while he's relaxing. Hmm. When you're ready. Purchase the contract. I don't know if that's good or bad. Is he ever going to leave? Oh, there's two people stuck over here. That's an odd shaped tree. I, I wonder. Oh man. Well, let's see if he ever, ever leaves the tavern. There he is. He's recovered. He's got the honest. It's not going to take too long. He's very, very honest. He's going to leave that as soon as he had to. Okay, so we've got a contract. Trouble in Freakwood. Fretwood, Freepwood? Don't know. Our relationship with Fretwood Freepwood is crucial to the development of our kingdom. Send a hero to help them out with the task, and they should be grateful. Just make sure it's something they actually need. I don't, what, uh, get a lot of gold from it, so either way we're going. But. Supplies. We'll go with supplies. Why not? Getting a bit confused. Okay. So we can send him out, but weirdly, we can't actually see. Wow, this is interesting. Okay, so we can send someone out for the beasts. But we can't. Send him out. I'm assuming we can't send him to the. Uh... Freepwood because we haven't found it. But when we go to explore new settlements next, we can't actually send him anywhere. Oh, maybe because I haven't got enough renown. Is that what it is? Yeah. Let's send him on a normal quest. Here you go. Game over. Oh no, look what you've done. Driven your kingdom to bankruptcy. Well, that went well. That went well.
But there you go, there's the first look at um, RPG Tycoon. Um, as, as I said before, it is very early access, um, alpha build, um, but if you, if you like... So the good news is, is that his attention is drawn over there. He's just busy healing, so we need to get rid of him first. Swingman Punch catches him. Oh, that one's caught cool, him. And that is it.